Hey guys, so it's T-Max Luke's Vintage Arts Restoration. As you can tell, got a better cool project. Check it out, check it out. So before we get started, I want to wish everybody a happy holiday season. I hope everybody had a safe uh, Christmas. Uh, and uh, is looking forward to a beautiful year, uh, a new year coming up. So I know I am, as you can tell, we've got a whole lot of projects behind me. So we're definitely going to be busy. Um, I want to also apologize for the delay on this car. We were supposed to have it up a couple weeks ago. Uh, I know I, you guys are pretty much watching, who are subscribers, know that I usually like to put up uh, a video or two a month. And with the holiday and with the crazy work schedule I have and being out of town, there just wasn't barely any time. Such uh, So I was able to squeeze this one just, I didn't want to have you guys wait two months before a car comes out. So uh, luckily it was uh, a couple weeks past the breaking point and I was able to get it on here, but uh, apology for the late video. So what I have here is Maru's fifth RC. This was released in 1985 and it is similar to the one we already did on my channel. So if you haven't seen the RS, go back and check that one out. It's a cool video. I love restoring that blue cage version. But this was the first of the uh, galaxies and they later, later do the blue one, uh, the RS. But in my opinion, this is the one that is really special. And what makes this one so special is, well, obviously the innovation of this car, but the motor that they decide to go with in this car. They could have went with any motor really that was cheap, but uh, Maru didn't want, want to go with that. They really wanted to uh, strike with the iron hot on, on all the cage buggies at the time. That's, this was a huge uh, style. And they went with a Maru 360 RS 550 um, high power motor. I mean, even the motor cans are special. And you'll know why later in the video, why that is amazing. So this one I had, I never thought to really restore it on the channel at this time. So I was kind of holding it off, but there was a lot of curiosity on, on questions. Is this one faster than the one that you were released later that year? And um, I guess I was kind of curious myself. I kind of was thinking, the blue one I restored uh, with the Tamiya Sport 2 motor would be the one. And then I thought, well, maybe this one has a 550 and maybe this one is the one that may be quicker. A lot of times you think 550, you think, you know, torquey. I know I had some cars with 550 motors in them that tend to run slower than the ones with the 540. And then I had some vice versa. So. This video will definitely answer that question, which one is faster? We do a top speed run at the end of the video and a running review of this car. But this one needed a total restoration as well. So let's get started what we did. We painted the driver, made some decals for the driver's helmet, uh, painted the wing silver, painted the wheels silver again, and um, just found an ESC that I had laying around, just popped it in here, just a generic one and uh, clean everything up, uh, put grease where I needed to put full ball bearings in this one, and repaired a rear bumper, made some steering servo uh, stays for this one out of just some plastic that I had laying around. So very cool, able to get it up and running and uh, runs really good. So without further ado, we're gonna go straight into the um, restoration and then we're gonna go into the uh, top speed and run review. All that's gonna start right now. All right, let's go ahead and break this bad boy down. We need to paint the driver, make sure the bearings are in here pretty good. Put a servo in here, electronics, some leads on here as well. And uh, I might make something for this area right here where the uh, MSCs usually sit. So uh, yeah, I think that pretty much will do it. Let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, so what we're doing now is working on the top. We are finished with the bottom, got the bearings all in, looking good. But uh, we just wanna make sure this is rolling freely, which it is. Now we need to uh, sand down the flashing uh, at the factory. And I'm notorious for this kind of stuff. I want everything to be nice uh, and with a tight seal. And there's areas in here, I don't know if you can see it, where it's slight lift right there right there, right there, 
definitely right here. And you want to sand all that back down. That way, when you put everything, screw everything back down, it sits flush against the plastic base. And then you got a tighter uh, fill for the gears, and the gears are not going to slip or, or strip or anything like that. Just better. But anyway, so you want to make sure you clean all your teeth really well. And I'm just going through here, just kind of going back and forth with everything. Going to wipe everything off and do a quick rinse. And then uh, let that dry off. But pretty important step right here, guys. All right, so it seems to be okay. I'll go through here real quick and just kind of glance at all the teeth. Little bits of hair and stuff like that, just from static electricity. That's fine. But... Uh, it doesn't need a good rinse. All right, so what I'm doing right now is making sure the gears are all like basically kissing each other. Um, and what I'm doing is spinning this gear to see if I have any kind of like pop up. A little bit right there. So I know there's maybe some debris in one of those teeth. So it looks up at this to here. It looks like whatever it's was there it's causing that piece of that that damage right there so it's something in here so basically what i just use like a little needle or like a, a super sharp object and just kind of go through all the teeth and wipe the teeth out with this thing and then wipe everything really good make sure i get all the debris out and then i'm good to go Right, driver's all painted up, looking pretty cool. Um, matches the box art as best as I can get it. Those handmade stickers look pretty cool. All righty, guys. First thing we're gonna do is the uh, top speed run. We're at zero on the base for the uh, Red Cage First Edition Galaxy. Let's see what we get out of it. Get out of here. Bring it all the way down there. I'm really excited for this one. We're, we'll definitely see if we can get 20 or more. Let's see what we got. Twenty-six miles an hour. I don't think the RS is going to take it. Uh, so next test is going to be the RS. All right. So now we're going to get the uh, top speed on the Galaxy RS. Try to get it out there as far as I can. It certainly sounds good. got 23 miles an hour with the uh, RS that's not bad well the first one the first edition is faster than the second one guys but not by much three miles an hour and it's not the end of the world but yeah not bad so glad we could see the um, see which one is quicker and that's even with a sport tune motor so it would probably be about 20 with just a traditional or um, regular 540 motor in it. This one gives you a little bit more punch. Alrighty guys, now for the run review of the Red Cage Galaxy. Um, been a long time waiting for this one uh, to get the top speed of the two cars, of the second gen, that's the RS, and of the Mac Daddy here, the OG, the Red Cage. Let's go see how she runs. So, I'm not gonna go into too much extensive uh, driving on this one. We already did a driving review of the Blue RS, pretty much the same car. So, we'll just give you a, a quick rundown on this one. You don't see these too much. Very fast RC car. Um, all that torque of that 550 sized uh, 
engine is really good. I will say that the RS did hold its own pretty well. But uh, yeah, the red one is faster. Got lots of torque uh, down low. You don't see too many of the red cage ones. I guess they just, um, a lot of people, they really beat them up pretty good. This one does have full ball bearings put out throughout, just like the RS does. I definitely recommend if you haven't seen the RS Galaxy, go back in my videos, check that one out. I had a lot of fun with that build. Let's go ahead and run it in the grass now. All right, we're gonna do a little quick jump on this one. I'm not gonna do too much. I don't wanna uh, crack the chassis. That was pretty nice. I don't think we're, we're gonna go that fast on the next one. We'll do it one more time. Yeah, it's all right. All right. I think we should bring her in and give our review of it. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for this bad boy. I wanna appreciate you guys for watching my videos. Um, if you ever see a Galaxy out there, definitely pick them up. They're super cool cars. They run great as you can tell. They're pretty quick. Um, but the value of these are kinda of going up uh, a lot. And it's hard to get parts for these cars so you're gonna pay a bit but it's worth having in your collection or if you're just an avid collector of strange RCs I mean it doesn't matter if you like to run them or if you don't like to run them they still look great very attractive uh, RC buggy in its own right um, super stoked that I could own an original uh, but they are frail as you can tell I already got a tear in the tire that I got to repair so if you got uh, any comments or uh, memories of these cars, please feel free to drop them down below in the comment section. I'd love it if you like it. I'd even love it more if you subscribed. I think this guy would too. So would that guy. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap on this bad boy. We'll see you on the next one.